everyone. I just wanted to talk about being led by the spirit of God, specifically from Romans 8, 14. And in Brian Standard Bible, it says, for all who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God or children of God. So in that, the in the Greek, it really is like all who are constantly being led by the spirit of God are sons of God or children of God. And we can read that and think, oh, wait, I missed a leading. So am I not a child of God? If I never thought that you don't need to take that, that's not true. Uh, you are a child of God. It, God, it is finished. It is done. In the context of this, he's talking about um, dying to the deeds of the flesh. We are being constantly, we're constantly being led by God. We don't necessarily constantly follow, right? Because he's not yanking us. He's not forcing us. We have free will. I know we've talked about this recently, but we are constantly being led. We can choose to follow or not. But the fact that we are constantly being led is what means we are children of God. And we are constantly being led to die to self and kill the deeds of the flesh and separate from that and be led by the spirit and you know have the mind of christ because it's in there but we can choose to go by our fleshly mind so we are being constantly led by the spirit it is finished and done you are a child of god if you have made jesus lord and savior of your life and you have chosen that and decided you wanted to turn from your old ways then it's done. So you don't need to think or, or be worried or something that if I missed a leading once, am I not a child of God? Nothing can separate you from God. You can turn, but nothing in this world can separate you from God. God's not turning this back on you. Yes, we want to follow those leadings. Of course, that's part of, you know, submitting and dying to self and wanting to die to the deeds of the flesh and turning from our old ways and having our mind and heart and everything on Jesus, but you are a child of God, even if you miss something, right? And you don't need an individual leading for each thing. I know I just talked about this too, but there are commands in the Bible. There are things that we are already being led to do. We can walk forward and step forward. So you are being constantly led, just like you are his sheep. You do hear his voice. And you just get to grow in the confidence of that, that you are children of God and nothing can separate you from that. And he is constantly leading you and you're just learning to listen and grow and submit and be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So anyway, I hope that helps. If anybody did have a, you know, why they're a hang up there, which I have had in the past, um, then I really hope that helps. If not, Great. I'm glad you never had that. Well, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.